The ball's been set rolling. An election that will be dominated by whose policy is superior. After Dr. Baumier's announcement of his vision, the door has been opened for a conversation on policy. Let's start with taxes. The biggest talking point since last week. John Mahama has promised to scrap the e-levy, betting tax and all taxes introduced by the Kufuado administration. Dr. Baumia, on the other hand, has promised similar, removing the emissions tax, betting tax, and the e-levy. With taxes comes the economy. Dr. Baumia aims at building a digital economy, leveraging technology to transform agriculture, manufacturing, health, and public service, among others. For John Mahama, a 24-hour economy slow down the decline of the Ghanaian economy and reform the central bank and the country's financial system. On job creation, the NPP flag bearer says his administration would train at least 1 million youth in IT skills to provide job opportunities with private sector partnership. Similarly, John Mahama aims to attract a viable private partnership to invest in productive sectors with emphasis on agriculture. An agribusiness. On the corruption front, the NPP's Dr. Baumia aims to leverage the fight against graft on the ECD and digitalization to track down fraud and money movement. John Mahama, on the other hand, says corruption institutions of the state will be empowered to be independent in their work. We'll end perhaps with education, where free SHS continues to dominate conversations in the sector. John Mahama has promised to review the current program and end the double track system across the country. For Dr. Baumia, the plan is simple to improve the implementation. The policies are similar, with both candidates promising to review the 1992 constitution, scrap the payment of ex gratia, and run an alien government. For political scientist Dr. Asa Asante, Ghana's politics has shifted to issue-based conversations. What we are seeing from each of the political parties, particularly NDC and MPP, is a reflection of the fact that we are growing as a democracy. And a number of things are also happening in our society, which we need to tweak our uh, party manifestos and programs to reflect the changing circumstances of the time. So what we are seeing is no news. But the real difference is how they work the talk in all this area but what does the ordinary Ghanaian make of the announced promises i'll prefer the digitalization because that might really help but to make work very easy for us i think the 24 hours will be better for ghana economy now i think um, ghana needs the 24 hour economy over digitalization because looking at our nation right now you realize that a lot of people are not so accustomed to the digital platforms and what have you. I should think we should do what is happening right now. So I think um, digitalization would help. Dr. Asasante argues the parties must disaggregate the issues to ensure efficiency in delivery. There are what we call the national issues. Tease them out and then come out with it and then discuss them. And then uh, there are what we call consistency specific issues uh tease them out discuss them along those lines but in all these things you should be able to spell out the fine details so that you leave no doubt in the minds of anybody the ultimate decision lies with the Ghanaian voter with the task laid down firmly for the major parties to convince citizens on what policy best serves their interests and needs